Hello there, my name is Adam, manager of Geek, and in this episode of Geek Bites, we're going to take a bite-sized look into the DC Universe's Lazarus Pits and their history. The Lazarus Pits are composed of an unknown blend of chemicals that bubble up at key points within the Earth's crust, often at ley line junctions. The substance in the pits possess the abilities to rejuvenate the sick and injured, and have even been known to resurrect the dead. Depending on how long they stay submerged in the pits, they can even decrease the age of the user. However, the pits aren't without their side effects. If a healthy person goes into the pits, they could be killed in almost seconds. The user both goes temporarily insane and gains super strength for a brief amount of time after emerging from the pits. Though, when the pits were used on the Joker, he was rendered temporarily sane rather than further insane. Ra's al Ghul, eventually known as the Head of the Demon, accidentally discovered the Lazarus Pits while trying to cure a dying son of the Sultan he worked for. Ra's dug a pit where he discovered these unknown regenerative chemical pools, dubbing them the Lazarus Pits, for their abilities to heal those knocking on death's door. However, the side effects became very clear as the Sultan's son went insane and killed Ra's al Ghul's wife, Sora. Ra's was eventually blamed for his wife's murder and left to die. He was rescued by his tribe and later gained vengeance for what had happened to him and called himself the Head of the Demon. Ra's al Ghul then used the Lazarus Pits to prolong his life for centuries. Eventually, he fathered two daughters, Nissa, who was known to use the Lazarus Pits quite extensively, and Talia, who may or may not have ever used the pits. The Lazarus Pits remained a secret, known only to those close to Ra's al Ghul for centuries, until he met Batman. Following his encounter with Batman, the list of those who discovered the existence of, or used, the Lazarus Pits expanded to include Jason Todd, the second Black Canary, that would be Dinah Laurel Lance, the Riddler, Cassandra Cain, the Joker, Cobra, King Snake, Duella Dent, Wonder Woman, Nora Freeze, and even Bane. Eventually, Bane and Batman destroyed nearly all of the Lazarus pits on Earth, leaving supposedly only one pit. However, five pits actually remained. Ra's al Ghul's daughter, Nissa al Ghul, owned one of the pits and found a way to both use the pits indefinitely, versus a one-time use limitation most users had with it, and a way to turn it into a weapon, which Nissa claimed had the power to destroy Solomon Grundy and Gentleman Ghost. Batman created another pit in the Batcave after discovering the pits were necessary to maintain the Earth's stability, but needed to keep Ra's from using it to resurrect from the dead again. The third pit existed somewhere in the Himalayas where Black Adam used it to revive Isis. The final two remained in the Australian Outback and in Tibet. Ra's was also said to have access to a Fountain of Essence, which seemed to be a Lazarus pit without the negative side effects. Ra's, Batman, and Nyssa were the only ones capable of regularly utilizing the pits without the negative effects overcoming them. The side effects got even worse in Nora Freeze, who was turned into a permanently insane lava monster after using one of Nyssa al Ghul's pits. So that was everything you needed to know about the Lazarus pits in a bite-sized nutshell. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to let us know which iteration of the Lazarus Pits were your favorite. Also, let us know if there's anything you want covered in Geek Bites for future videos. My name's been Adam, manager of Geek. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.